I'm just in somewhat shock that the game opens with the- Why did he do that? That wasn't the order I gave him! G'day mates and welcome to Aeronautica Imperialis Flight Command. First of all, thank you for the devs for a free copy of this game, that's how I'm playing this. I was given the key for free. And uh, in case you're not sure what this game is, essentially it's the same as Blood Bowl and the older Space Hulks, where there was a board game of some kind and then they turn it into a video game basically one for one sort of thing like uh, I, I haven't actually played Aeronautica, uh, Aeronautica Imperialis to say exactly how accurate this is but uh, you'll see it's very board gamey when you uh, when you get into playing it it's quite cool though from what I've uh, played out so far I've already run through the tutorials but the whole setup is essentially that you're playing either as the Orc Air Wah or you're playing as the uh, well Aeronautica Imperialis it's in the title the thing that's got me excited is the campaign, which is set on Rin's World. And Rin's World, if you don't know, is the Crimson Fists uh, chapter world, chapter home world. Uh, and I, it's actually one of the few Space Marine novels I really enjoy. Uh, because it's not just pure Space Marine bolter porn the entire time. It's got some really funny lines, like the guy whose arm gets ripped off. And then he's like, brother, you've lost your arm. And he's like, no, I haven't. It's right there. A very good line. <laughs> Basically, orcs invade, uh, the Crimson Fists get really beat up, and there's like a couple of them left at the end, but they win because Space Marines always win. Commander, your arrival is indeed timely. The Battle of the Skies of Rin's World has reached a, a pivotal stage. York Airwar is relentless, <laughs> and their numbers limitless. Okay, I get why the orcs call it the Airwar, but why do the humans call it? That's just really annoying for the humans, right? At all points, to be like, just say Air Force. <laughs> Imagine a serious briefing, right? And just like, oh yes, we've downed three planes of the Orc Air War today, and uh, they've downed two of ours. The Orc Air War has been sighted. <laughs> it's just every time. <laughs> and deliver a killing blow by taking out the Air War's fly boss, Ed Boiler, and the elite Skullcracker Squadron. God, you know when the humans start talking Orc, things are getting bad. Ah, I see. Okay, so if we get down to zero points, they get overrun, we get to ten, we win. Right. There are also scenarios and such in this. I just really wanted to give the campaign a go. Damn, look at all these. These character portraits are actually pretty good. We've got two aces, which I don't know what those mean. I guess they have, like, good abilities. We've got a bunch of fighter-trained people and then two bomber-trained people as well. We have the choice between making Jenny Hers our flight command or Amelia Elmos. And I kind of like the idea of... I'm probably, it's probably like Amelie instead, but I'm going to go for that just because I'm thinking of... Uh, God, what's her name? Amelia Earhart. Yeah, let's go. Wait, can I just give up? Nice. <laughs> yep, you know what? Fuck Rin's world. Space Marines don't care about about us anyway. Let's, uh, let's not do that. Let's start the thing, shall we? Oh, okay. So we have the choice here. We have, uh, escort a flight of Marauder Bombers, King of the Sky. Sorry, conducting recon. <laughs> Sorry, conducting recon, uh, renting enemy space. Okay, right. So we got that, uh, or we have intercept uh, orc bombers. Okay. I mean, I just want to do the escort elite because I really want to get some marauder bombers. <laughs> Dawn of War has broken me. Anytime I see a, just a name that has like a quote from Dawn of War, I just have to shout it. It's, it's really good. Really good game. God, I won't play more of that. When, when would they make a good one? It's a shame they never made a third one, huh? Big shame. Okay, so you can choose different loadouts. We've got standard loadout or wing bomb. I think we want to go standard loadout because... Surely we're not actually going to want bombs for this mission. Oh, we can take flares, ejector seats, advanced targeting, armored cockpit. Okay, let's let's go advanced targeting. Wait, I've just realized my squadron leader is flying a Marauder bomber. Why? Hang on, that that that's probably not good. Oh, she's trained in bombers. How did I not see this? When you are out of ammo and you're like a useless fighter, you've got no more things to shoot, what you should do is actually escape the map and leave it. Uh, in order to keep you from being destroyed and, and you basically don't get penalized once you've spent all your ammunition. If you leave before you spend all your ammunition, you will get penalized. What I'm thinking is we just start like our advance by kind of hugging the wall and just going all the way across. And uh, if the orcs want to try and come for us, they're going to have to come through a hail of fire. What the hell? Oh my god, there's orc anti-air. So as you can see, you command your units by doing this. You give them turns. It's much like uh, sort of X-Wing in those sort of board games where you might have seen. Or also kind of like uh, Battlestar Galactica Deadlock. These games where you give your orders and then everything happens at once. So what we're going to do is if we climb, we start to lose speed. So I'm actually going to... I could probably dive and gain speed, but that would make the orc AA more accurate, wouldn't it? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure how AA works. 
Okay, we have several different turrets. We have a dorsal turret, we have a twin las cannon at the front, and we have a rear turret. Okay. So here's the turn. We've got the orcs all flooding in to come say hi. We've got the uh, dorsal turrets firing, and a couple missiles that missed. Actually, no, screw it. We're going to get you going straight, but we're also going to get you to climb, and then speed up a little. All right, let's go. Oh boy, okay. Oh my god, okay. Hang on, everything just happened. Let's go back in theater mode real quick and try and figure out what the hell happened. Oh, I think they crashed into each other. Hang on. Bone Smasher killed Halo Hold with a missile. Okay. Oof. Ow. Not a good starting point. Okay, we just have to run straight for the boundary and hope they target the bombers. These fighters are just gonna have to try and buy time as much as they can. Here we go. Climb up and engage that orc. All right. Twilight Blade, congratulations. You're getting the job of going straight into their formation. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set her quad auto cannons to sustained fire, so she's just going to spray as much ammo as she can as she gets into the formation. Ooh. Okay, I think we did some damage that turn. Let's see. Oh, watch this. Okay. Looks like... Okay, they shot at us, but it looks like we popped flares. Yeah, okay. The orcs are all chasing the bombers now. Full speed. We're almost there. One more turn. That's all we need. Just buy some damn time. Ooh, okay. Two missiles in. Wow, we bombed some AA on the way past, though. Look at this. <laughs> nice. Uh, we are home free, I think. Well, not home free, actually. We're flying over enemy territory. That's, that's the point of this mission. So we are enemy territory free. I'm going to get Winter Strike and Twilight Blade to just roll away and run, basically. Yes, please miss. Please miss. Please miss. Yes, okay. Home free. There we go. I'm having an issue where I can't actually, like, win the game. I, I, I've done, but I don't know how to end. Like, please wrap up turn, please. Okay. Main menu. Okay, so apparently that's a bug that exists where you just don't get to, uh... Where you just can't end a turn. Can't end a game, rather. Okay. Imperial Navy surrendered. I'm gonna start a new one, because, frankly, fuck that. Ooh, the Valkyrie gets to do spiral maneuvers. Oh, that's really cool. I want to do one of those just to see what it looks like, but I probably very well shouldn't. Alright. Good start to the game. Smack- WHAT THE FUCK?! I'm just in somewhat shock that the game opens with the- WHY DID HE DO THAT?! THAT WASN'T THE ORDER I GAVE HIM! We're just gonna- we're just gonna restart that campaign. Hey, this one looks pretty cool. I get to direct and escort a flight of Arvis lighters to a designated cargo, to zo uh, cargo zones and deploy their cargo. That's pretty cool. Let's do this. Please, don't slam yourselves into the ground this time. I guess we have to deliver things here? Is that what I'm looking at? Sure does look like it. Okay. Yeah, these are the LZs. Why is there just anti-air next to the LZ? My god, what a start. We're gonna go down to height 2 and then we get to uh, basically strafe the orc anti-air with, uh, with our lads. Okay, whilst three of them go in for the landing, I'm gonna get this fourth one to literally just fly around here and circle. Now, come on, turn, you bastard. Uh, the main reason being that way we can actually have a target in the back, and in the event that things go horribly, horribly wrong, we have some replacement uh, guardsmen ready, waiting in the sky. Silent Lights gunning him. Oh, he strafed him. I think he missed, though. Oh, no, he did hit. Okay, so the Orc AA is down to one health left. That's fine by me. Let's uh, do another pass here. Wait, hang on a second. If I go back, could you- did it just say that you could land? Interesting. I could even land my, uh, my bloody Thunderbolt. Let's not do that. Let's instead just gun down this bloody Orc AA. Nice. Okay. We'll have to quickly start climbing next turn. Wow, that is, uh, that is gonna be a problem. There is an Orc, like, about to smack into our Valkyrie. Hang on. Let's, uh, things are happening everywhere. Okay, Orc down. Valkyrie gets hit by AA. Overall, pretty good job. These guys are able to offload their cargo this turn, so they're going to try and deploy their cargo. There we go. Oh my god, they're getting bombed on the ground. This is awful. Now, here's something I should point out. The pilots here are getting stressed out because of all the maneuvers I'm making them do. Basically, when they hit max stress, they pass out, which isn't good. Uh, but until such time, making them do more and more stressful maneuvers is what makes them uh, gain further stress and more likely to pass out. Oh god, that's not good! Wow, a lot of bad things just happened. 
Wow. Well, my squadron leader is dead, killed in a collision with Gut Cranker. Uh, meanwhile, Halo Wings was shot down by Anti-Air, I think. Yep. And, oh, and Vengeance ran into a crash with Heavy Cracker. God damn it, that was bad. That was awful for us. The Orc AY1 with a strategic fi- What? How? I have more points than them. And also, bullshit, it was all collision death. Holy hell. Was that actually a first easy kill? My god. Okay, so Rainbow Fang took damage. Meanwhile, Noble Strike killed an enemy. Uh, you fire- Oh, you damaged an enemy and you killed an enemy as well. Oh, you damaged and killed. My god, we did amazing! What is with this game where we're just doing amazingly now? Hey, nice. Okay, damage and a kill. Combo work there, lads. Nice work. Okay, are, are you are you serious? Is this happening to me again? Why? All right, lads, I think we're going to leave it there. I looked up that issue. I saw someone else in the Steam uh, discussion was having that issue as well. I can't end battles when I win them. I just, I win them and then I can't end them. And if I exit out of them, it counts as me losing. So that's fun. Look, the game is cool. It's it's a faithful, as far as I can see, I'm, I'm pretty certain, a faithful ad uh, adaptation of the board game, the board game variant, um, which is pretty cool. It's always fun to see this sort of stuff. And I love seeing the sides of 40K that isn't Space Marines. The fact that, I mean, there will end up being a fuck Space Marine faction, almost certainly, because it will sell like hotcakes. But the fact that it's not Space Marines is making me happy. And that is nice. Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of cool scenarios and stuff as well. I, I, I play them, but uh, currently I'm just feeling kind of annoyed after every battle I, uh, I had being just destroyed. So that was, uh, oof, okay. Oh, well. We'll leave it there until next time. Thank you all for watching. If you do want to see more of this, I guess when they fucking fix it would be really nice. I would be happy to play more because it is 40k and I like that. But uh, as it is, I don't really appreciate putting all the effort into winning a battle and then just not being able to win said battle. Kinda, kinda disheartening. Until next time, farewell.